Hello, this is Asa Hussain with Stratford Technology. Today I'm going to discuss Hyperion Planning Task Lists, which is a feature that a lot of our clients find useful in organizing their day-to-day -day activities in Hyperion Planning. <clears throat> I'm going to begin by talking about the use of task lists, how to create them, and then finally how to use them. Task lists, like the name suggests, is a checklist of activities that you want to perform or you want your users to perform within Hyperion Planning. They help organize and prioritize workloads and enable managers to track activity progress during the process. A task list can contain text, links, business rules, or account scripts, web forms, and copy versions. <clears throat> task lists can be opened in either the web version of Hyperion Planning or using the SmartView add-in in Excel. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to use the vision application that comes out of the box with Hyperion Planning. In order to create a task list, I go to Administration, Manage, Task List. Alternatively, I can go to the Manage Task List ribbon in my left navigation pane. To create a task list, I click on the green plus icon give the task list a name and that creates our task list. Initially the task list is empty. In order to add tasks to it, I go to edit the task list, go to actions, add child, <clears throat> and I can add my first task and I'm going to call it instructions. Now, as I mentioned, there are multiple types of tasks, and the full list is available here. I'm going to select a descriptive type for this task, and notice it will tell you that a descriptive type task has no properties. Additionally, you can assign a duration to a task, and if you want the task to start and end by a certain date, you can select these options here. <clears throat> you can also alert your users if their task lists are delayed. Finally, you can add a dependency. So for example, if you want a task to be completed before another task can begin, then you can add dependencies on those task lists here. I'm going to add instructions to this task and say, please complete your forecast and save it. Notice that the icon denotes what kind of task I've just created. This icon tells me that I've created a descriptive task. The glasses tell me that there are instructions associated with that task as well. Now I want to create another task <coughs> as a sibling of the one that I just created. And I'm going to call it 2.0 Enter Forecast. And I'm going to select Form. Notice it gives me the option to select what form I want to associate with this task. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, select balance sheet forecast for the purposes of this demonstration. <clears throat> now notice that every task can have instructions associated with it. I'm just going to enter uh, a, uh, a set of instructions for this task and then click save. Uh, the short task list that I wanted to create is complete. I can click save to save my task list. And now if I navigate to my task list, you'll notice that the demonstration task list I just created shows up here. I can click on that and it will show me all the tasks that are associated with this task list. I can begin to action on an, any uh, task list by clicking on the action task list wizard, launch task list wizard. I can read the instructions, please complete your forecast, mark that task as complete, <clears throat> and go to the next incomplete task, which is enter forecast, and that and opens up the balance sheet forecast form for me. Now, if I go back to the demonstration uh, main task list um, icon right here, you'll notice that it'll show my status as 50% complete because I completed that one task. Now I want to leave the web version here and go into SmartView and show you how we can use task lists in SmartView. 
Now, you'll notice that I'm already logged into the vision application. I can open up my task list folder and I get the same three task lists that I had access to in the planning version. I can double click on a task list and see which tasks are complete and which are pending. I can double click on the enter forecast task and that'll open up the same form in Smart View. If you right click on a task, I can open the form, I can mark it as complete, I can refresh, and or I can disconnect. The one thing, the final thing that I wanted to show you within this Smart View uh, plugin is the ability to create reports on task lists. So I can click on create report. I've already selected the demonstration task list. I can select all available users are just running for one or two. Right now I only have one. And I can group my results by task list. And notice that I can select either Excel or PDF as my report type. And this will show me how my task list is doing so far. Now I certainly hope that this was helpful. And if there are any uh, needs that you want us to address with, please remember Stratford uh, Technology and we'll be more than happy to assist you with any Hyperion Planning, HFM, or SAP BPC implementations. Thank you.